Grab your poodle skirt and get ready to dance the night away at the first ever Saw Cop hosted at the Memorial Park Community Center. Kelly Finney and Mary Lee Baker are here with more. Thank Ladies, you. thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for having me. Yes, and I love your outfits as <laughs> Thank well. You. Thank you. We'll get more to the outfit part <laughs> in just a little bit. But sure. Kelly, I'm going to start with you. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what a Saw Cop is for maybe those that have never even heard of it before. Right. So we actually had some staff uh, that were younger at work that said they did not know what a Saw Cop was, which I yeah. cannot believe. So we are celebrating, Johnson City Parks and Rec is celebrating 75 years this year. So we wanted to look back and do a few events um, that kind of went back to what maybe teens and children were doing. Mm -hmm. If you can believe it or not, that was actually 50 years ago or more <laughs> that they were doing sock hops. So wow. we decided to do that. We're offering this for ages 4 to 12, but they just bring the entire family out, just have a good time. The children will be dancing. We're going to have Kurt Matheson there that will be doing our music and entertainment. Mm -hmm. And Fizz Soda Bar is bringing ice cream and soda. So oh, even fine. with the admission that, you know, who, who doesn't want ice cream and right. so just so it'll be just a lot of fun for the whole family. That sounds like a lot of fun. And so I know you all are host, or are celebrating a big anniversary, but why did you think of a sock cop? Mm -hmm. Well, just again, we just looked back at what, uh, what children were doing and teens. And I think a lot of uh, children probably don't know what sock cops are. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be so much fun for them just to come to the gym and just wear their socks and dance the night away. Right. Everyone so. loves a good theme party too, yeah. right? Even yeah. kids. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so Mary Lee, I'm going to hey. have you come in now. And you guys definitely dress apart <laughs> today. But this is a great way for people to just look through their closet and see what they have. They don't have to go out and buy it. Right, right. What I did, I have an outfit on. You can't see all of me. Um, but what I did, I googled some images. Um, like the movie Grease, mm -hmm. and you know we see the poodle skirts and the um, the pink lady jackets. Um, so I, you know we don't want people to go and, and buy things, right. you know, or rent things. We want them to be creative, you know, with their clothing. Um, so I went to my closet, and this is what I found. <laughs> um, so, and you can go to your local thrift stores, you know, if you want to check that out. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That's great. You know, fun fact, I used to go to Sock Hops when I was younger. That was our annual father-daughter dance, and I had a bright blue poodle skirt, and a, yeah. my grandma made me a pink ladies jacket. Oh, that cool. was, I loved the movie Grease, Grease. and I just loved that. <laughs> whole thing but that sounds so fun and really what you're just trying to have is people come and be festive and just have a lot of fun right yeah totally yeah yes. and I love what you guys did with the bandana too just some <laughs> little Thank accessories you. It's barely yes. on there yeah. oh yes Wherever. and the shades I love know. the shades <laughs> very cute very cute uh, and so Kelly tell us a little bit about how the night will unfold what people can expect when they're there okay and they can register uh, registrations open now until that night or they can pay that night at the door it is five dollars for children ages 4 to 12 and then the rest of the family or the guardian whoever brings the children will be free mm -hmm. so they can just come in and we'll be in our gymnasium and a fun fact too about uh, salt cops when I was looking it up it um, started with kids back in that day didn't really have anywhere to go and dance so they got their principal to to let them use the gym floor okay. but one of the rules was they couldn't wear shoes on the floor so the kids loved it because they oh. didn't have to wear their heels and they could wear so bobby socks and and like we were talking about, you know, just make it really comfortable and they had a really good time. So that's kind of what that. we're looking for. Little history lesson yeah. there too. <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. And Kelly, remind me again, the time and date and how people can register. Sure. It's April 4th. It'll be um, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. and they can register at Memorial Park Community Center. Easy enough, ladies. Thanks again. We really <laughs> do appreciate and love the outfits as well. Make sure you stop by for the Spring Sock Hop happening April 4th from 6 to 7.30 at Memorial Park Community Center. You can give them a call if you have any questions.